I will give you guys a nice juicy little close up before we dig in. Just in case you weren't getting hungry already. Oh, oh the bread is nicely, um, it's kind of softened up a little bit, maybe from the heat of the meat and everything and the sauces on top. All right, and a little close-up of the salmon also. I'm not sure actually those uh, these white chunks here. I think that might be ginger or garlic. I'm not actually sure. And then I think some sesame seeds and some little cuts of uh, red chilies there. So this should be good. Oh, okay. It is finally time to dig in. We've got our handy dandy <laughs> hand uh, fan like set here perfectly to give us some airflow. Uh, ready? Ba. Ba, ba, ba. Oh yeah, and also with the salmon, they have this green uh, seafood sauce. It's very common here with the seafood. It's delicious. And I actually, you could say cheat a little bit because I also mix that sauce with all of the other meats besides seafood. So also the chicken, beef, Everything is very good with. And we've got our handy dandy necessary roll of toilet paper because uh, they don't often give tissues with the food here. So it's nice, a, a little travel tip. If you're in Thailand, possibly lots of Southeast Asia, bring a little pack of napkins or toilet paper, something you can snag in 7-Eleven for like 50 cents. It'll come in handy so much. All right, here we go. Done. I said cheers. Uh, okay, cheers. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. It's so good, all the different sauces and flavors coming together. And that, that ground pepper actually that he had me smell, I can taste that. He said it's a special uh, pepper. I have a feeling, you know, there's like black pepper, white pepper, and then there's like a mixed kind of like a medley ground pepper. I have a feeling that's what it is. Oh my God. It's so good. I'm already really like a meat loving guy and also like a Philly cheesesteak, something so American. Being in Thailand for a while, it's not super often that I eat uh, American food anymore, so it's kind of refreshing to have a nice American, like, Philly cheesesteak. Oh, it hits the spot. All right, we'll do, do a little trading here. All right. All right. You try this one. That was a good reaction. She really likes it, actually. Sometimes she's like, uh, kind of like so-so, but I could tell from that noise, she really likes it. <laughs> she's going to have more now. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Here, here we'll, this. we'll do a quick trade. Okay. Now, we will go for the salmon here. I'll take a bite of the salmon. I kind of want to just like, take like a nibble or like... So I think it's garlic actually, pretty sure. Yeah, so it's definitely garlic, not ginger. So it's really good and adds to the flavor of the sauce obviously. All right, here we go. Got us a nice thick juicy slice of the salmon. And we're gonna, uh, the sauce is Overflowing, just how I like it. We're gonna get it a nice dunk. Oh, almost overflowing. Do another cheers. Here we go. Mm. This one is also very good. I already like salmon. I don't like a ton of seafood, but salmon is one of the ones I like. And also, I know that it's. I think it's one of the much more healthy seafood. And then in combination with all of these sauces, it's amazing. What's this one? Wasabi maybe, yeah, wasabi. They've also got it if you like. And I love this sauce 
because I love spicy flavors, but if it's too spicy, you know, it kind of upsets your stomach a little bit. But I love the sauce that comes with this. And if you guys remember, there was also the version with the shrimp. I love those ones because the sauce is like perfectly balanced where it's a little bit spicy, but not too much, you know? It's like a perfect level. Oh my God, look how much is gone. <laughs> you guys remember when we passed it off? I think it was out to here. I think she really likes it. Aloy, my. Nice. <laughs> I think Aloy Ma. She said very yummy. <laughs> Guys. Look at that cheese just booing and going out and all surrounded by caramelized onions, jalapeno in there. That's what you like to see. You know, I just had the idea. I could try something really crazy here. Let's see. But we're gonna try, we're gonna take the Philly cheesesteak and we're gonna dip it in the, uh, the seafood sauce. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we get here. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. It just adds just even more flavors. Like, I'm always the guy that just mixes everything. Like, mix, mix, mix. Just the most random stuff, especially in different countries. They'll look at you like, what are you doing? Like, mixing that. Uh-oh, she's taking more. <laughs> but honestly, I just love, like, food that's just bursting with flavor. So I just mix, like, all of the sauces. Mix so many things together. Gotta snag it out of her hand. <laughs> we'll do one less crazy little dip. Oh shit, the camera's freaking out. All right, we'll do something super crazy for the last bite. We'll do this one <laughs> and this one. Oy. Crazy. Here we go. <laughs> crazy flavor. Just absolutely bursting, loaded up with so many different flavors. The maybe or maybe not necessarily supposed to be mixed but it's really good what do you think which one you like like this one or this one you like better <laughs> yeah it's funny because she wanted the salmon and i ordered that one but she ended up liking this one better <laughs> all right we will go quickly give our compliments to the chef over here Yes, yeah, so it was Aloe Mak. Aloe Mak. She yeah. likes so much. <laughs> she eat eats so much. <laughs> oh, the, oh, YouTube. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll get one more subscriber here. Alex and Echo. Uh, maybe it's Travel. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, still a little small, but we're growing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kabun Kab. Nice to meet you also. All right. So, that worked out. We gave our compliments to the chef. Probably made him feel good about his craft. And we also gained a subscriber. And a little plug for you guys even though you're already watching it, but maybe you aren't subscribed, so make sure you subscribe. Honestly, most of you guys that watch, if I go in and look at the statistics, a lot of the people, you guys aren't subscribed, so make sure you subscribe. This is gonna be getting only better and better and better videos, more cool, more different places. I'm gonna be getting better at making the vlogs and everything, so you're in store for a treat. It's only gonna go up from here. So. We are making our way towards the castle, except I thought maybe we wanted more food first. So I'm not sure. You can see what I was saying. So there's some live music over here, it looks, and I think that's like a little restaurant over there. Maybe you can sit, have some beers and stuff. But you're still huge, am I? Yeah. Yeah, so I think we'll first go around and look for a couple more uh, food items. This might be good for a little bit of dessert, though they've got some milkshake and soft serve ice cream, so that could be pretty good. Oh, these are kind of like, there's not much left, but if you guys remember, this is exactly what I was talking about. So the meat steaks lathered up in the sauce and the vegetables on the end also. Usually they have a wider selection, but I'm guessing maybe this is still like one of each, maybe chicken, pork, and beef or something like that. But you like this one, right? Yeah, this aloe mak, jinglo. 
Yeah, I said this is actually, truly, this is very, very uh, yummy. So maybe we can get one. Do you know which one is which? Like a moo chicken beef. Thai. Moo both? Okay. So what do you think? Maybe like, uh, maybe like song, song? Tell me. Okay. So we'll get two of the pork and then two of the chicken. And we'll see them grill it up here. I've actually had this one before. It's so good because you can see just all oh, sorry. You can see so much sauce. They just lather it up. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Uh, Taura, I come. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, 120. So divided by four. So it must be 30 uh, for each one. So a little bit less than a dollar. We've got our cashier doing our, yeah. making our transactions over here. <laughs> I don't know what this is over here. We've got like some big pork ribs maybe or something. Uh, we'll get you guys a nice close-up view of those lathered up meat sticks. like to see that just lathered up with sauces. Oh, look at that. She's lathering it up even more. Oh. oh, look at that. The sauces are literally just dripping down into the grill below. She's got the bucket there. I think it's mostly kind of like a barbecue sauce from what I remember, like a basically like a sweet barbecue sauce, but so yummy. Look at that. The sauce is literally just dripping down below because it's so lathered up. That's exactly what you like to see. And we're getting the other side lathered up as well, just for good measure. Oh, so we actually got, oh, so we got five. I didn't notice. Because I said two of each, but I think we just got the last one because there was only one left anyways. So, yeah, 120 divided by five, that's a weird number. Divided by four was easy, 30. What is, or no, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like thinking about it. All right, cup and cup. Thank you. All right, so we have secured the bag, literally, of meat sticks. So yeah, total anyways, it was 120 baht, which is about, like, a little bit less than $4, probably $3.50, somewhere around there. So where would you like, where should we sit and eat? Eating the food, maybe like over here, somewhere. All uh, right. Yeah, like I said, another nice thing about having come pretty late, even though there's less options, there's a lot of places to sit, so that's nice. Yeah. Okay. And we've got this beautiful view of the castle here in the background. Look at that. Eating with a view. All right, we've got our handy dandy toilet paper out again. And now it is time for round two of eating. Oh, like a constant runny nose in these like hot areas, I don't know. Especially with the hot food, kind of like clears out your sinuses. All right. Yeah, she says it's very hot. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, I kind of... Chicken? Yeah. Guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this one is a chicken one we've got. And look at that, just absolutely <laughs> lathered up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely lathered up all the way around. And we've got a few to go. All right, let the feast begin. Cheers. Chum. <laughs> It's absolutely just lathered in sauce. So it makes it so good. I'm like a big sauce guy. Like I love just like so many flavors, like dense overflowing flavors, like sauce. I don't like stuff plain, you know, like I like a lot of sauce seasoning. That's why some of my favorite food is Indian food actually, because like Indian food, Indian curry, it's so densely packed with so many different flavors. Like if you guys see Indian people cooking curry, there's so many different ingredients that they add that it's just bursting with flavor by the end of it. 
So this is similar to it's just absolutely lathered up in the sauce. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Taking a bath here in the sauce. Okay, we've got a little tomato, cherry tomato on the end. And then uh, whatever this is, some sort of pepper, like a green pepper maybe on the end. We're absolutely taking a bath in the sauce. But it is 100% worth it. Mm. So yours is the guy also? Sorry. Okay, so we're both on the chicken right now. And then when we get to the pork, we'll see the difference in flavor. Honestly, I think pork, in my opinion, tends to often be a little bit more flavorful um i think chicken's actually kind of healthier but the flavor is kind of a little bit more calm calm i guess you could say versus a lot of times the pork kind of has like extra flavor inside but also like i said i think chicken is a little bit healthier for you finish it off cherry tomato and the possibly some sort of green pepper or whatever really good kind of like almost like clears the palate or whatever as they say okay so this one guy all right we got the chicken again <laughs> i think we'll skip to the pork first and then come back just to try out the different flavors pork Move, move it, come Okay. This one we have been informed it is the pork. All right, here we go. Mm. Yeah. So it's like I said, absolutely phenomenal. Again, on the outside, lathered up with the sauce. If you guys can see well, I'm not sure of the lighting those nice little dark patches there it's like grilled perfectly to perfection where there's here and there there's those little patches which add to the flavor but not too much but like i said before just the inside the meat itself with the pork just has some sort of like an extra added flavor that just seems to not really be there with chicken usually it seems to be a little bit more plain in the meat itself the flavor of the meat itself so Obviously, if, if the one is a little bit healthier, then it's good to just kind of mix it up too, then you get a little bit of everything. Did you try the pork? Who? Yeah. You like? Yeah, I'm really good. Which one you like better, the pork or chicken? Is like number one, pork or chicken? Oh god. Which one you like better? No, which one? Like noon. Guy or noon? Uh forgot the name. Moo. Moo? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's probably why. Just tends to have a little bit more flavor inside, but both are amazing. The other thing I'm a little bit sad. They also in these selections the exact same style that they uh prepare this again we're towards the end of the night you can see we got everything that they had left but they often have three piles and the third pile is beef of course so this time unfortunately they didn't have any beef but i love beef it's also pretty healthy for you and i think it's kind of a nice middle ground too because it kind of has that extra added flavor such like the pork uh oh we just lost uh <laughs> the handheld fan to a wind gust but yeah it seems to have a little bit of the extra added flavor inside the meat similar to the pork but it's also pretty healthy for you especially if you eat grass-fed beef which obviously you don't know what this is but <laughs> it's nice to have the mix though when they have all three it's phenomenal <laughs> 